halftime, of course, an update on the Masters. And then at the end of a tribute to John Havlicek, we'll go to Augusta for that final round. Marvin Barnes underneath, dueling away. Missed his second shot and Wicks is off to Hondo. Me. Bill Willoughby. Marvin Barnes hustles it at the Buffalo edge. Havlicek knocks it away and out of bounds. The Braves will retain possession. Brent, the question you asked me about John and how he's been able to sustain it for so long, there are an awful lot of doctors that would like to know that. An awful lot of basketball players would like to know it also. He has been blessed with a tremendously too much point in playing him a whole lot in this game. Barnes turns inside. Four minutes to go now in the first quarter. It's 18-15. Celtics leading the Braves by three points. I'm Brent Musburger with Keith Erickson, and it is indeed a pleasure to be working John Havlicek's last game. Barnes maneuvers in a little jump hook. Good look and move inside, Brent, by Marvin Barnes. Strong young ball player. It's a one point lead by the Celts. Halftime tribute to John Havlicek. We'll be covering that live. Update on the Masters. Barnes with a good defensive jump in front of Wicks. I'm very surprised that he's been dropped by a couple of teams. He, he really looks like he's got good talent. Havlicek was met by Marvin Barnes. No respect for a legend that time, Marvin. And also, he may have just hurt that hand. Buffalo Averett knocked it away from Ernie D, and Cowens was right there. the other way it'll go to Buffalo on the side the foul is against Kermit Washington who checked in and here is their top draft choice cornbread Maxwell the Wicks Washington. goes out for a break sorry Brent Kermit Washington and Marvin Barnes having a couple of words here Kermit pushed him in the back on that play after Marvin I think elbowed Kermit in the jaw to each other you know you saw that ice up at John Havlicek's lip I believe he was cut just a bit underneath that may be in the reason why he went out how many games in his entire life Keith we've got that stat I can't believe it it really is phenomenal 33 games in 16 pro seasons here's Marvin Barnes he missed more on that in his first year Marvin is a great character there's going to be all kinds of stories about Marvin Barnes, as there already are. But he possesses a whale of talent. If he ever decides to use it from the beginning of a season to the next, he is a player. Well, it's even, it's going to take more than that, Brent. Cotton Fitzsimmons said he's got a Washington tremendous amount of ability, but he thinks in order for Marvin Barnes to be a top player in this league, he's going to have to go out and work all summer long and really get himself back into the shape he was in coming out of college. The roar in the background indicates that you know who is up and ready to come back with 641 to go in the first half. Havlicek will be coming in soon. Barnes staying right with it, but it wouldn't go down for him. Barnes maneuvering for daylight and got it. Four minutes to go in the first half. You should see the loot that he has picked up from his teammates and friends here in the Boston area. I saw an IRS man out there before the game. It took him an entire notebook just to catalog all those gifts, Keith. Yes, indeed. And we're having words down here. Sidney Wicks and Marvin Barnes are having a few friendly words underneath the basket. And then the booing you heard going on a second ago was when Jess Kersey called a foul on John Havlicek. Marvin Barnes is such a ham that he knows today is the day to soak up a little TV time. <laughs> Havlicek went for the long one. Marvin Barnes dueling for control. He just sort of tossed it up, didn't he? Here's Boswell. Bing's on that other side. He waits for Wicks. Now it's Havlicek, and there again was Marvin Barnes. You see Detroit up by six over Denver despite those 32 points in the first quarter by David Thompson. Goaltending and Washington said, I got it on its up. It has been Wicks squeezing the trigger and he's been successful twice. Nader. Am Alabama. The final minute here in the Boston Garden ticks away in the first half and it's Marvin underneath. Cheney. 
Celts have had some problems with the third quarter in the past. We'll see what happens here. Barnes took the dish from Avert. And 40 seconds to go, third quarter. Barnes. And Barnes hustled back for his own miss. Miss outside, Bing over at the baseline, and Cowens put a move on Nader and came around him. And again, it's Barnes and Washington. Muscle on muscle underneath there, uh, Keith. Lobs for Marvin. Washington waited before he came over, and the whole building shook when they collided. He also jumped up, Brent, and blocked that ball through the bottom of the basket. John Havlicek. Nader going into Barnes, double teamed underneath, and he traveled, and Fitzsimmons is saying, hold on now. He says Havlicek's not even out there. You don't have to give him everything at this moment. And on for third in the Eastern Conference. Kermit taking it. Foul called as he swung free of Marvin, and now it's Marvin's turn for a little theatrics. Marvin's saying, I can't take it anymore. Get me out of here. How can I put up with this, Cotton? I mean, I just move, and he blows that whistle underneath. And Cotton says, relax, relax. Hang in there, Marvin. He's bending Bing's ear a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> they still tell that story about Marvin being late when he was in the ABA, so he went and rented his own airplane. Showed up just before practice, walked in, took off his coat, and said, Marvin's ready to go. For a single season, set by Ernie D, who hit the technical at the other end. Hondo is back. Maxwell and Barnes were coming up underneath, and Barnes knows. He takes it off for the last time this season. Randy Smith tossed out. Marvin Barnes fouled out. And all the ghosts of the Boston Garden starting to gang up for the final quarter of John Havlicek's career.